Deadman mode is back and I'm currently 99 strength, 99 range and 99 magic. And I've been playing on two accounts at the same time in different combat brackets to experience as much of Deadman mode as possible. And for this video I will be using a sigil I haven't seen anyone really PK with. With the Feral Fighter sigil upon dealing melee damage you have a 20% chance to set your attack speed to 1.2 seconds. So if they don't react in 1.2 seconds they are dead. I killed him. Is that? 1 HP? Are you kidding me? Oh, he's dead! <laughs> no! Dragon Skimitar, the bank is on that side. And I'm out. I just wanted the bank key. From key... 550k cash. But let me bring you back. It all started with this one kill. I decided to go rogue on a random guy at the Rift Breaches on Deadman mode. And I got addicted to peeking all types of people after the Rift Breaches while upgrading my gear with every single kill. Ooh, this guy has a sight. He's running. Give me the sight, please. I beg. Smite it. <gasps> oh my god, that's a sight. That's a sight PK. <gasps> Look at the corrupted sight on the floor. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Wait, I completely forgot about the key. What do we even get in the key? Ah, 465k. In this deadman mode, you can buy full elite void from the emblem trader by trading in tier 5 emblems. So I'm saving up my points for that. It's time for a quick little upgrade to the account. Can you guess which one? It's for the head slot and it's the Raycon Everyday Earbuds. And Raycon just happens to be today's video sponsor. School's back in session, which means Raycon is having their annual back to school sale for a limited time only. Get 20% off site wide plus free shipping. The earbuds has a wireless charging case, adjustable gel tips, awareness mode, and much more. But if you want noise isolation, you can choose to be totally immersed and block out outside noise with Raycon's noise isolation feature. The wireless charging case holds up to 32 hours of battery time. There's a bunch of different functions with earbuds but the one I use the most is changing the song by tapping the right earbud three times. And to top it off, Raycon has over 50,000 five-star reviews. So go to buyraycon.com slash cengineer for 20% discount site-wide plus free shipping. Link in the description down below. I wasn't even close to failing Jad. 8 HP left, no supply. Wasn't even close. Of course I get the fire cape. A nice little upgrade to the the PK. Um I just sold a Mitral Bolt Poison for 484k. People are trying to transfer GP between the combat bracket worlds, and you can only do that through the Grand Exchange. It is breach time, you can see everyone's getting ready. Look at this world as well. So many people just standing in G waiting. Big hit and a dark beast. Could be mine, 99. Oh, we got something big. We got a trinket advanced weaponry. The trinket can give you one out of six corrupt weapons and the two most valuable ones are the corrupted to make a shadow and corrupted twisted bow. Right. Let's see what I get. I got a two making. Oh my god, a corrupted two making. That's huge. We're just gonna drop it, sell it. 3.3 mil. With this drop, I decided to upgrade to a corrupt void waker. Come here. This guy is so dead. I killed someone. Iron Cabin is dead. Tier 5! Okay. Oh my god, that's a lot of tier 5s. Oh my god. I need to get out of here. I've never seen this many tier 5s ever in my life. What is this PK? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tier 5s and 50 Morgan throwing axes. I'm gonna turn them in at the Emblem Trader. 10 mil points. Can I afford full void? I got full elite void. What a great day at the breach. Having a money maker on dead man mode is very important, otherwise you will fall behind so quickly. And my money makers are a mixture of RNG and PK. I got a sigil of the infernal smith while training my range up. Sold this for 4.4 mil. Oh my god, we got a carol stop. We sold this carol stop for 4.5 mil. Then I sold another Bronze Bolt Poison for 100k. I'm leaking all my money makers right now, but we sold a Mithril Dagger Poison as well for 200k. With this money, I decided to invest in a Sigil of the Porcupine, which is like a stronger version of the Recoil Ring. Jagex. Vesta Longsword has been purchased. I'm excited for the next breach. I'm gonna risk this Vesta Longsword. And if I die, I'm gonna be so depressed. 
I have been frozen. Who decided to freeze me? Did someone leak? I have a VLS. Oh my god, two HP escape with a VLS. I'm banking that shit. Agent 1014. That's, uh, I'm not bringing that anymore. Give me the Tumikin. I, I got a Tumikin PK. Oh my god. Give me everything. We got the corrupt AGS and the key and 600, 700k. Oh my god. Oh my god. Five tier fives in the bag, 500k. I knew Vesta Longsword was good, but I didn't know it was this much better than any other weapon I've used so far. And the key? Whoa! One mil cash! So I got a sigil of remote storage from the monkeys, and it's worth eight mil. So I bought myself a backup Vesta Longsword if, in case I die. So we're all good. The rift breaches, they happen three times every single day. 4 a.m. my time, 12, and then 9 p.m. my time. So while waiting for the breaches to come along, I try out some different PK methods, and one of my favorites is how good Dragon Claws is with the Feral Fighter sigil. That is a black mass PK. Oh my, that's actually huge. And he's dead. That's a good and change skirt. Oh, that's pretty big. Um, a nice little 750k. <laughs> oh, one mil key. One mil key of junk. What's going on with this world? Why is it bugged out? I think Jagex updated the graphics right now. Hi YouTube, he said. <laughs> Void Waker! Oh! We got a Void Waker. Oh my god. You see how quick that Claws procced? I have loot bag. I have nothing. Oh no. And the loot key is... Ooh! He's done Sora. 780k. I've decided to sell everything I own because there is a sigil I want called Sigil of Aggression which increases my damage by 10%. So both my Vesta Longswords, gone. My gear right now on the second account is pretty weird. I got full melee void but not range or magic helmet. So I need two tier 5s. Ooh! Trinket of Advanced Weaponry and a tier 5. What do we even get from this? To make a shadow, oh my god. <laughs> I'm selling this real quick. And we upgraded to avoid range helmet. As I was killing this goblin, I noticed that someone called TX got a Stadius Warhammer drop from the goblin. So I right clicked the loot pile until he showed up, and then I went for the attack. Ah, uh, he's running. That is Warhammer PK. Oh man, I'm rich right now. Not a bad session, I must say. We also got tier 5 for the range, void range helmet. I got my Vesta longsword back. I'm happy. In almost all the singles breach locations, there's a room crafting altar which you can escape with, and no PKers ever use them. Uh oh. I get escape. The mind talisman escape. Oh, let's go. Yeah, this escape works every single time against PKers. No one brings a talisman. Just me. All right, we we sold a black battle axe. How much did we sell it for? Oh, we sold two of them. Four hundred and ninety-three k. Upgrade to the low-level account. A fire cape and a void magic helmet. Okay, he, he, he's typing. He had no time to react. Free black mask. <laughs> he was two steps away from a safe zone. Because he didn't react in 1.2 seconds, he died. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh. 
Oh, I'm so dead. Oh no! Who are these guys? Is it fools? <laughs> Sandborg is dead. I, I wanted to go for this guy, but I guess I'll take him instead. What? He had a 3 mil key, which is a good key, corrupted claws, and bunch of supplies. I will take it. Oh my god, that is huge. I saw a whip. I did see a whip. Corrupted claws as well. This guy didn't expect to die and from the key... Three millers. A friend on Discord said there was a guy camping Birdop Slayer, so I decided to check it out. How is he alive? Oh! No way! No way! Oh my- that's the biggest PK I've had. Oh my god, a surreal stuff. Uh, uh, what? Why was he so bad? 18 mil in the key! He didn't expect the very fast claws into the AGS. I chanced him there. And then he just, I don't know what he did after that. Oh my, oh, he's gotta have a big key, right? Surely. Ugh, that's a disappointing key. Four mil. I'm just here to spec someone out instantly. Yep, it worked. Two tier fives. He had throwing axes as well. He got Morrigan's throwing axes loot. The Vesta longsword just went in. It's just so strong. 53 of them. Oh my god, what a big kill. 1.8 mil, but these are worth so much more. I think they're reaching 100k each. From the big kill, what loot do we get? 2 mil PK. Before we end today's Deadman mode video, I'm just gonna wait for you to like the video. Have you liked it yet? No? Okay, I'll wait a little bit longer. Have you liked it yet? Perfect, thank you.